Hello, hello. Welcome back, my beautiful moon and stars. It's your girl, Starlight. Let your light shine. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about dating. Why is it so hard for us chosen ones, us divine beings of love and light? You know, why is it so hard for us to like date? <laughs> why is dating so hard? And it's so difficult to pursue anything with anyone to be in a commitment with, you know, or certain things just don't end up working out you know you date someone for a little bit and then it just doesn't work out and they either betray you or they just ghost you or it's just like you never hear from them again ghosting obviously and yeah it just you know it just blows up in your face <laughs> you know like a bulldozer you know and it just kind of sucks so yeah we're gonna be talking about that today guys hope you guys are having a great day so far so yeah um being a chosen one being a divine being a divine one if you will it's it's very difficult you know dating um having this energy having this anointing on us you know being chosen you know you were chosen i was you know well only like what 144,000 people were it's very difficult you know for me personally obviously um you know people come in and out of our lives people come in and out and they Either, you know, they kind of use us, try to abuse us, they try to control us. Um, because I feel like a lot of times they are very in intimidated by our love and our light. And they just, they can't handle it. Because they don't feel worthy enough. They don't feel good enough for us, you know. And that's what makes them run away. You know, people, you know, it's like the runner-tracer dynamic, you know. And we're so loving, we're so compassionate and caring. It's like they kind of low-key know or they think that they know that we're going to come after them and chase after them. No. Once you find your worth and you know who you are and you have respect for yourself and you got boundaries, honey, you ain't going to chase nobody. What's the tits? Uh-uh. No. <laughs> Why? Why waste your time and chase someone that's not even putting any effort coming in after you and wanting to stick by you and stick by your side and love you and care about you? You know? It makes no sense to me. <laughs> So, because I kind of used to do that in the past. I used to chase here and there. I don't do that anymore. Um, I'm like, if you're for me, you're for me. If you're not, if you're meant to be in my life, great. Be in my life. You know, love me, chat, whatever. You know, because I'm going to do the same thing back to you. But if you're not right for me, if you're not good for me, you know, I'm going to sense it. Obviously, clearly God knows. <laughs> the universe knows this person ain't good for you. We'll rip them out of your life or it's just not going to work out. And that's usually half the time. That's why things don't work out is because they're not good for you. Um, they got a lot of work to do. They got a lot of healing work. Because um, it's like, honey, you've healed. You know, us chosen ones, you know, we worked really hard on ourselves. We've been through it. You know, bad relationships, good relationships, whatever. But it's like the bad ones help us, you know, grow into who we are today. You know, and we embrace that and we love that about ourselves. And, you know, we, we, hone in, we hone in on that power. You know, we stand in that power. You know, we have our boundaries, right? Even when we do get into a, a new relationship, we're still going to have boundaries. Obviously, for that person, they're going to have boundaries for us. You know what I mean? Because um, obviously, we want commitment. We want love, right? We want to share the love that we have within ourselves with someone else that has that love within them. You know, two holes make... A relationship not two halves honey don't get it twisted don't get it backwards okay um but yeah it's it's very difficult you know a lot of people do try to come in and use us you know half the time they see something within us obviously it's our it's our love it's our light it's who we are our energy our personality whatever it is um they see like they can get something out of it whether it's like i don't know clout I don't like that word but like <laughs> who made that word up it's so dumb but like popularity um you know getting like five minutes of fame being with you something like that it's really dumb like they try to they try to use us in many ways you know try to get money out of us try to even just our energy guys um especially women I want to talk to the women here for a quick hot second uh yes women um you need to stand in your power. You know, a lot of men are going to come in to our life and, you know, try to use us or 
just kind of, you know, especially with, like with ghosting, you know, that's something I've noticed um, in the past and like recently too. Like people ghost, people just try to feel more superior than you. You know what I mean? They see you doing good for yourself. They see you thriving, doing your thing, loving you. Um, you know, you got boundaries up, you know, you're, you're just doing you, right? And then they, they want to like knock you down. <laughs> like, you know, but they do it in like a subtle way, these men. Like they try to slither on back in and they're just like, hey, <laughs> you looking good. You doing good for yourself. I see you. You know what I mean? And it's like, no, <laughs> don't talk to me. Or you just go with them, you know, you give them a taste of, you know, their medicine. And that's what we're supposed to do, honestly, at the end of the day. You know, give a taste of their own medicine, you know, give them a taste of it. And, you know, and they, they feel it and it makes them feel some type of way, you know, and then they you just maybe never hear from them again. And that's cool. Great. Bye. <laughs> Next. You know what I mean? Um, like, make room for the better guy to come in. The one that God has in store for me my chosen one as well you know what i mean because i feel like chosen ones divine ones we are meant to be with other chosen people right like we're not meant to be with like plain you know jane you know plain tom or whatever you know what i mean like everyday tom everyday jane person right <laughs> um but yeah it's that's why it's so difficult you know especially you know for women and men of sorts that I want to talk to the men you know women are gonna try and come and do the same thing with you guys you know you guys need to find that you know that masculine hone in on that masculine good energy you know not not toxic or anything because everyone when they say masculine they view it as like toxic you know controlling it's like no could be in control of your life don't you know obviously good chosen you know good men chosen men um they know how to be healthy within themselves and they know what it takes to be in a healthy relationship. You know, they have that balance because we both have feminine and masculine energy within us and we have to balance those two out, right? So I feel like men that have worked on themselves, that truly do love themselves, who have boundaries, who have respect for them, you know, want that same energy right back from their partner, right? So they're not going to you know, control or manipulate anybody because they don't see the point of that. And they want something good, whole, healthy, a good, like, happy relationship full, filled with love, you know, compassion, joy, respect, you know, honor, right? So it's like, you know, they want to find their queen, just like we want to find our king. So, you know, <laughs> and treat each other as such always till we die. So, because <laughs> that's how I am. That's what I want. And I hope to God that's exactly what my future person wants. And yeah, it's gonna happen. So <laughs> whether, you know, I'm dating around, talking to people, who knows what's gonna happen. Things grow over time. So, you know, but like I said, it's very difficult for us to find love, especially in this day and age with how the world is. Um, but you just gotta keep focusing on you. Keep focusing on you, doing you. Um, you know, working hard in your craft, whatever it is you're doing, you know, keep loving yourself, you know, treat, treat yourself as you would want someone else to treat you. And that's exactly the energy you're going to get back in your next relationship. That person is also going to treat you and see you the way you treat and see yourself, right? So it's just like an energy exchange, you know, it's a production of what you view and how you feel about yourself. You're going to get that right back from that new person, right? From the one that you were meant to be with. And of course, man, you know, manifesting, you know, your true love, unconditional love. Um, and we can find love in many ways, you know, um, love isn't just for lovers, you know, but of course I'm talking about dating right now, but you can find love with, with friends, family, um, but it's like a different kind of love than being with a partner. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Hopefully it shed some light on some of your questions or something that you're curious about. But yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Please take care of yourselves. Love yourselves. And as always, in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.